Well, it is block party season. Fun out in the sun in the summertime. And joining us today to tell us about the one coming up at the South Jackson Street Community Garden, Kayla Monfort. She, of course, is co-director of Activate Allen County. Thanks for joining us, Kayla. Thanks for having me. Okay, so these parties are just fun, and it's all about gathering folks together, right? So tell us about the one coming up on June 29th. Yeah, so once again, Activate Allen County loves to host uh, these community block parties for our residents here in Lima. And our next event is June 29th. Uh, that's a Saturday from 10 a.m. Uh, I'm sorry, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, over at our South Jackson Community Garden, which is located at 200 South Jackson Street. Um, and we have our community garden out at that site and we'll also uh, be having again this block party. So it's just a great way for us to engage with our residents, um, um, to do some community health surveys, to do some health screenings, but also have a lot of fun. And this event will be um, like everyone, like everything else, we will be having some free activities. Um, we'll have the bounce house and a ring toss out there. Um, and most importantly, we'll be having some free food. Uh, everyone loves free food. Um, so CJ's dog house will be out um, giving us some great hot dogs and some great food uh, for the occasion as well. All right, so and it's open to the whole community in that area, right? You, you want to keep it around the garden area? Um, yep, yeah, anyone is invited. Everyone's invited. Um, it's just a great way to reach out to that neighborhood as well. Show off the great garden. Um, by the end of June, things are looking really great um, at our South Jackson Community Garden. So anyone and everyone's invited and welcome to, to join us. Uh, the West Ohio Food Bank will also be out that morning uh, providing some shelf-stable food items. And we'll have about 10 community vendors. Um, so you'll be able to get some health screenings and learn about some resources here in the community through our great vendors who join us. Um, who joins out there. So it's a great fun for all ages. Uh, you can bring your kids out, let them play in the bounce house, get your lunch uh, from CJ's dog house, and really just have a good time with our vendors, um, including Mercy Health and Humana, who is sponsoring uh, this event. I think, is it important to be out in areas where people feel more comfortable? I mean, it's their neighborhood and it's a garden spot. Is, is, does it make people feel more comfortable to learn more about some of the stuff, the resources available? Exactly. Yes, it's it's really important for us to have these events in neighborhoods where folks can easily walk to them if they live in that neighborhood. Um, and they also feel like it's just a part of the community. So they're not having um, to go very far. And it's also just a very trusting and open atmosphere. So we really do hope to engage with residents who may, um, you know, not want to venture into a hospital or may not want to go too far out of their um, out of their comfort zone. They're able to connect again with Mercy Health with some of our other uh, social services here get some information, um, build that trust, build that network, and do so in just a really fun and low-key environment, which we really think that residents appreciate, um, just having that ability to meet them where they are and for them to see what's out there in our community and, again, have that place where their kids can engage and have some fun in a safe, safe environment, uh, get some free food, some free resources, check out the garden. Potentially, they want to join us next year and have their own garden bed so we can give them information about that as well. So, again, it's just one of those things that active really loves to do. Uh, we're so grateful to have the opportunity um, to have the sponsors that come alongside and make these available to our, our residents because they are really a great time to connect and learn um, what, our res what our residents are needing and how we can continue to connect and reach them. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned, you know, several times the kids, you know, the bounce house and stuff. It's probably good for young kids to see at this age, hey, it's okay to interact with some of these agencies and stuff and, and watch their parents or grandparents or whatever, you know, get help needed. Exactly. So we really do encourage um, families to come out. Um, we'll have everything from um, Area Agency on Aging to WIC to Help Me Grow. Art Space Lima will be out there doing some art bags. So that's always a great time for the kids. We'll have, again, that blow up ring toss and the blow up uh, bounce house. So it's a great time for parents just to reconnect, re-engage with some of those resources, see what's out there for the kids to, you know, have some fun at the bounce house and kind of look at the garden. We're on the river there. So it's a really great spot at the river walk um, as well. So it's just not a, a great day for families to be outdoors, to enjoy what the neighborhood has to offer. Again, with the West Ohio Food Bank and CJ's Dog House, um, we'll be having some free food options, which is always a great time for everyone. Yep. All right. It's the block party coming up on June 29th. Kayla, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. Don't go away. Neat Edition continues in a moment.